guards compartment went off for her morning run, leaving Ernest the engine car and Stevie the steam train all alone in the train yard. This was the chance Ernest had been waiting for. Stevie, said Ernest, I need some advice. You can go to hell, go to hell, you can go to help lines and get much better advice than I can give you, said Stevie, who stuttered badly at the most inappropriate of moments. You went out with Gail the guards compartment, started Ernest. I pulled her once, said Stevie. I was hoping to forget, forget, to forget all about it, said Stevie. It was a disaster. Well, I want to ask her out, confessed Ernest. Perhaps if you describe what went wrong, I can avoid making the same mistakes. Well, said Stevie. When I got there, she was wet. She was wet. She was waiting for me outside. She invited me in and showed me round. I said, you've got a big ass. You've got a big ass. A big ass and a football club souvenir collection, said Stevie. Oh, dear, said Ernest. Then I asked Gail if she'd let me look up her ass, look up her ass, look up her ass on her website. Because it turns out she runs a fan club. She has a very loose ass, a very loose ass, a very loose ass and a souvenir cataloging system, though. Oh, said Ernest. Then what happened? She said, I hope you're taking me somewhere nice said Stevie. Then I asked her if she'd like to come back to my place. Did you? said Ernest. She said, I'm not going to sleep with you if that's what you're thinking. I said, well then just for off, just for off, just for coffee. Struggled Stevie. I see, said Ernest. But she said she had an early start, said Stevie. Then she said, I'm free this weekend though, what are you up to? I said, wanking, wanking, when can we get together? She said, actually, I think I'll pass. And for the life of me, I don't know why.